Hello relatives, welcome to this week's Schlagbait, entitled Shrinkbot, for the week June 3rd, 2013. I listened to an NPR broadcast recently that described a new animated robotic shrink called Ellie. Ellie is a youngish woman, her hair is tied into a professional looking ponytail, wearing a blue blouse, tan sweater, and a delicate gold chain around her neck. She asks you how you're doing and encourages you to talk, even utters a well-timed uh-huh, just like a real shrink does. Ellie was developed by a psychologist and computer scientist at the USC Institute uh, for Creative Technologies. Ellie's greatest skill may not be her gentle probing, her real talent is in taking and analyzing thousands of measurements while she's getting you to talk. You see, Ellie is recording your eye movements, facial expressions, voice inflections, your gestures, all your body language. This virtual woman, you see, is a camera and has sensors that are tracking thousands of measurements every minute. She can record every wince, every pause, hesitation, and later analyzes the data to see how depressed you are. Ellie was originally commissioned by the U.S. Department of uh, Defense to help the military deal with the escalating problem of post-traumatic stress disorder and suicide among servicemen and women who were returning from Iraq and Afghanistan. The developers say that the idea was never to have Ellie replace trained therapists, but to sensitize the VA system to seek out these vets and counsel them. I don't know, maybe a shrink butt is a good idea for vets who fear confiding to an officer, but I think it's a bad idea generally. I mean, it's clear that it's only a matter of time before this app is going to go public. And then businesses and marketers and politicians will give away great freebies if you'll just talk to them for a little while. While they analyze 1,800 measurements a minute and get to know how it is you think, what you like, how your brain responds to their pitches so that ultimately they can sell you something. Uh, doesn't that sound a little Big Brotherish to you? And from a clinical perspective, it's notoriously difficult to make decisions based on how somebody looks and talks, smiles, and frowns. In the absence of any understanding of that person's cultural context, a shrink butt only sees what's going on directly in front of them and has no real idea about the essence of who you are, how you see the world. So Ellie is going to become available as a $10 phone app which will allow you to talk to her whenever you want to. But talking endlessly about your problems is not the same as changing them. To change your dysfunctional behaviors requires a relationship with somebody or a group but it's got to be somebody you like respect and trust who gets the essence of you and cares enough about you to be willing to confront you with all of your crap a relationship with a caring loving individual that can show you a path through your denial resistance fear and guide you to a healthier place. We can't replace that with a robot. Have a great week. If you need to think about talking to somebody and changing your behavior, at least turn yourself out to potentially reading uh, Stop Your Shit Shoveling, which you can uh, find on my website. Reach out and touch somebody. And in this glorious time of spring, Get out there and touch everything that we're connected to relationally. Everything that grows and walks and flies and swims. I send you my warm regards and blessings.
Have a great week. I say this for all my relations. Mitakuyasi.